So if you're familiar with my content at all, it's all about how to make money online and build online businesses. And one of the main things that I teach and preach, and not only teach and preach, but I live by, is to do things fast, to move fast, to not spend time listening to gurus and listening to more gurus and listening to more gurus and thinking about it. Just dive in and start to do it. Because the truth is, you're going, the, the only way you're really going to learn is by doing it. And for sure, the only way you're ever going to make money online is by actually doing the work. So if you're not familiar with my content at all, if this is your first time coming up on one of my videos, stoked to have you. Um, like I said, this is a channel all about how to make money online, build online businesses. There's nothing here that I'm trying to sell you other than the fact that you should do. That's what I'm trying to sell you on. You should do. Uh, so if you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'd be stoked to have you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to enable notifications. Drop a like, drop a comment. I'm terrible at asking for people to subscribe and engage on these videos, but I do appreciate that. And uh, it does help the channel grow and helps this information get out to more people. So if you do that, thank you. But like I said, one of the biggest things that I believe in when it comes to making money online is to just start doing things right away. Don't waste time learning because you're gonna learn by doing and you're only gonna make money by doing. And so most, all of the previous videos on this channel you know, I've been talking about things that I have dialed in. I've had a lot of success with them. This video is a little bit different because I'm showing you me jumping into something pretty much brand new to me. And I did it fast, like super fast, right away, didn't waste any time with it. And so what went down is I went into a Nike factory store, a Nike factory outlet. It's a Nike store where they have discounted Nike gear. And I was just browsing in there. I went there in there just to shop. I was just browsing. But then I saw they had a row of Jordans, uh, Air Jordan shoes, and they were discounted. And I looked at, I was just looking at them. I was like, you know what? I bet I could probably buy those at the discount that they're at and sell them for more online. Not something, you know, I'm not a sneaker flipper. It's not, I don't flip shoes online. That's not my thing. But I was looking at them, I was like, sounds fun and I think I can do it. So I'm gonna dive right in. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna show you me diving right in and I'm gonna show you the mistakes that I make because I just dive right in right away. But then what you're gonna see is how I adjust and correct those mistakes and then I'm able to go from having made those mistakes and not getting sales to, all right, now I've got sales and I'm making some money flipping sneakers online. So hopefully in this video you'll learn number one, that it's just super important to dive in and start doing because that's the way you're gonna learn and that's the way you're the only way you're ever gonna get to the point where you're actually making money online. And number two, you're also gonna learn how to go buy sneakers at a discount and flip them online. So let's get into this now. We're gonna flash back to the video of when I just bought some shoes and brought them home and was getting ready to start to sell them. And to give you an idea of what my plan was at the very beginning, I bought 12 pairs of shoes of Jordans I was like 1500 bucks or something like that, maybe a little bit more. And my idea was to sell them on the GOAT app, which was ended up just being a huge failure. 1466.95. Like I said, just right under 1500. I'm gonna try and sell all this on the GOAT app. So this is the GOAT app right here. As you can see, bunch of sneakers for sale. If you click on sell at the bottom and then sell your sneakers, right here you just need to input the item SKU, the item number which is found on the outside of the box that the shoe comes in, just on the sticker on the box. And then select the shoe when it pops up. And then now right here you need to select the size for the shoe and then the condition of the shoe, whether new or used, in this case new. And then right here, select the condition of the box, click next. And then if there's any defects, you'll need to note those here. No defects in this case. And then right here is where you select the price. Just scroll it over to do that. And then if you come to the bottom, it gives you data, all the sales that there've been recently for the shoe and at what price point they were sold at. That's really good information so you can tell if the shoe's selling and at what price. And then from here, click next. You'll have to take a picture of the tag picture of the shoes themselves and a picture of the outside of the box. So I got the picture of the tag, click next. I got the picture of the kicks. Now I want a picture of the box. Now we got a clean picture of the box. Click done, submit, done. 
And then from here, it took me a little bit of time to get all of the other 11 pairs listed on the Go app, but I got all the pictures taken and got all of those listed. But after waiting for a while, maybe a week or so, there was no sales, no nothing happening. So I decided that I need to probably try something different. Yo, so we got first two sales here. So a couple things have changed since the first time I recorded for this uh, Flipping Jordans video. So I got the sneakers listed on the Go app. The more I explored the Go app, and as I've had the shoes listed on there, like literally nothing has happened. I'm not entirely sure I understand the Go app. <laughs> um, Cause once I created it, they were like, here's the link to share it so people will buy. So I think it's got like, it's got to have its own organic traffic that you can, that like can buy your stuff, but I don't know, anyways. But what I did, I was like, I kind of realized GOAT wasn't working. So I was like, well, let's, you know, if I want to figure out best way to flip Jordans, like let's figure out where else I could potentially sell these. eBay was obviously one, so I started poking around on eBay. And then really what I did is I just went and I ran a search for like best ways to sell Jordans online, best way to sell shoes online, like best places to sell shoes or like where to sell Jordans or you know that sort of thing and then I pulled up some different articles that had links to some different websites Went to those websites check them out and one of those websites that I found was stockx.com So I went there and I was like, oh, I like how they're doing it because some of the other Sites you have to sell on are, are consignment where like you Send them the product they sell it for you and then they give you a cut of it But I like it where you can actually list the product straight to the platform and, and you're the seller of the product and then the platform takes a, a small percentage and StockX is like that. And then StockX also had some cool data where you can go in and see like how many sales have occurred for the model of shoe and in each particular size. So you can see if there's demand for the shoe, right? If there's lots of sales of that shoe over the past month, past two months, three months, that shows demand. If there haven't been, then there might not really be demand for that shoe or maybe that shoe hasn't been listed or something. But anyways, I, there's a lot of data on StockX.com so that I could kind of see what price point shoes are selling at and how often that shoe is selling. And I like that a lot. So what I did, and, and eBay also, if you go to the sold item section, um, <clears throat> if you just filter by sold items, then you can see, if you search the model of your shoe and then filter by sold items, you can see uh, how many sales and at what price point, that same data, right? That same important data, knowing how often is this shoe selling and at what price point? So that way you can decide, all right, will, this, will I be able to sell this shoe? And at what price point will I be able to sell this shoe? So then you can figure out, will you be able to sell it profitably? And this is the same for any product across any platform. Like you gotta figure those things out. Is there demand for the product and can you sell it profitably? And so what I did is I researched all the models uh, on eBay and on StockX and I listed them all on eBay and StockX. And since I've done that, I've got two sales, one from eBay, one from StockX. I had the listings up for two days, three days, and I got the first sale. Now I've learned just in the past little bit that I've done some research, a lot more about how to research data, especially with like StockX and eBay between the two to, to see like, oh, what kind of shoe should I buy that will be able to sell? I didn't do that the first time. Like I, in the beginning of this video, I was just focused on the Go app. But then once that wasn't really panning out or I didn't really, haven't really figured that out yet, I was like, shoot, how else am I gonna sell these? StockX, eBay, and as I've gone that route, I think I've really started to figure it out a bit more. And I went and bought some other shoes. I'll show you real fast. Should have a lot higher profit margin baked into them. And that's these ones here. Now these ones don't have lids on them because they're like, the extra discounted, like on the back wall discounted, and they, they ripped the lids off to know that like that these are the discounted ones, but these guys, uh, I looked these up on eBay. I don't remember what all the pricing is on them right off the top of my head, but <clears throat> these ones should flip for, I think it was like 40 bucks or so. Same with these right here. Also, these ones are kind of, these ones are crazy, but um, these should flip pretty well. And as you can see, these ones compared to like the first shoes, I brought and we're at the beginning of the video. I just went in there and grabbed them. Was like brought them home. Was like, all right, let's figure out how to sell these. So there's not um, really huge profit margins baked into those. But as I've gone back a couple times now to the outlet and done research on eBay and StockX, 
I've, I've, I've figured out which shoes are the better shoes to buy that I can sell for more. So this right here is actually me being a complete newbie to selling sneakers online, especially on these platforms, because uh, lids matter a lot, especially for Jordans. And I didn't know that, so what you'll we'll quickly find out here is that these ones that I've grabbed that have no lids that I think are gonna be more profitable, I'm actually just not even gonna be able to sell them at all. I'm actually going to list right now these new shoes that I just picked up on StockX and eBay. And since I believe my research is more dialed now as far as like supply, demand, profit margin, how fast it'll sell, that sort of thing, uh, I think these should do pretty well. Should make decent money. All right, so here we go with how to list these shoes on eBay and StockX.com. So first thing that I do, find the model number, which is right here, AQ3366-601. And then I come down here and I click on sold items. This will bring up all of this specific shoe that has been sold. And I also like to set it to new with tags since that's what I'm selling is new with tags. And we can see right here <clears throat> on May 26th, today is the 29th. A pair sold for 70 on the 21st for 115 on April 30th for 130 on April 5th for 110 March 31st for 110 So it looks like about two pairs a month have been selling and they're going for 70 to 130 The final price on these Air Force was 52.47. The last pair sold for 70, the one before that 115, before that 130, before that 110 and 110. So I'm going to list these on eBay for 115 to start. If that works, that's approximately $48.53. 40 bucks off of flipping a pair of kicks, I'll take that. All right, so to sell this, I'm gonna come up here and click sell, and you basically just follow the steps. So category, I'm gonna go clothing, shoes, and accessories, athletic shoes, title, Air Force One. That should work for the title. No variations, UPC does not apply. Condition with box photos. Drop those over just like that. Size here is 8.5. Skip all that. Right here, I'm gonna basically just put the title again. Get that bullet points. That's pretty much, I, I keep the description pretty simple. Name of the shoe, colorway, size, that it's new in box, never worn. Top of the box was removed by store. I don't want them to get all upset about that. Model number right there. Okay, format, fixed price. I like to do buy it now. Said we were gonna do 115. Let's go 117, get a little crazy with it. Quantity is one. Payment options, PayPal require immediate payment. Sales tax, return options, no returns. Flat, same cost to all buyers, offering free shipping. Handling time, one business day. Okay, I think that's it. Got the title, the images, filled out this info. We got the item description. We set the price to buy it now for 117. Free shipping on there, and that's good. I'm gonna click list item. Now I just got those all listed on eBay, and I'm gonna show you how to list on stockx.com. Stockx.com, you can come up here and click sell if you want, but I like to actually search for the product by model number right here, which is 4145710335, and it's this shoe right here. This way it takes me to this product page where there's a bunch of data that I can look at. So the first thing I'm gonna do is switch this to a size 12 since that's what I have right here to sell. And then if I scroll down, I want to see this section right here. Click view all sales. Then right here it shows me all the sales and at what price point the sale occurred at. So, looks like there's quite a bit of demand for these. We're seeing 
daily sales, just about um, multiple sales on the same day, multiple times. And the sell price, low looks like 103, high looks like 138, and looks like consistently selling 115, 120, 125 range. Now one issue that may occur here is if I list these on both eBay and StockX, if an order occurs for the one pair at the exact same time, then I have to cancel one of those orders because I don't have two pairs of size 12. If I did, then, then perfect. But since I don't, I have to cancel one and there's, you don't want to do that. You don't want to cancel an order on StockX.com. The, on both on eBay, StockX.com, there's repercussions for, you know, if someone buys it, but you don't fulfill it, you have to cancel it. So you want to avoid that. So that's a risk I'm kind of playing with right here by listing these on both platforms. But I've got notifications on, so as soon as one sells, I can go immediately take down the other listing. And I'm interested in seeing, you know, which platform will sell this faster. But I'm fairly, I'm new at this. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna sell faster on StockX or on eBay. But I'm gonna put my pair up for sale. Right there, click sell. How StockX works is people can place a bid for the shoe, and if a seller wants to match that bid, then the person who placed that bid gets the shoe at that price. In this case, I'm not gonna do it, because I'm gonna ask for 138, but if I wanted to, I could sell it right now for 97. Total payout on that would be 84.88, and I paid 70, so that's a nearly $15 profit margin right there. And on StockX, you don't have to pay for shipping. They provide the shipping label and you send the shoes to them. So this would be a straight $15 profit margin and I could sell them instantly right this second. But StockX makes it really easy. So place ask 138 is the price I'm asking for. That'll give me a total payout of 120.75 minus the 70 I paid. That's a solid $50 profit margin right there. I'm gonna click review ask. My sneakers are new. Unworn with the original undamaged box. Shoot, this box is damaged. Not damaged, it's just missing the lid. I don't know what StockX rules are on that. The other pair I sold had the lid. So let me see if I can figure that out. Oh, that's a significant bummer. So these don't have lids, so I can't list these on StockX then. So yeah, right here is where I figured out that I was not going to be able to sell these on StockX. And that was my main play, was to be able to sell these on StockX. And that's how I was gonna make the bigger profit margins off of these boxes with no lids. Like I said, and like you've now seen, no lids is a big problem. So I thought, well, maybe I can still just sell them on eBay because eBay doesn't have any rules that your box has to have a lid. So I listed them on eBay, but the issue was that like the boxes didn't have lids and one of them was actually torn and just especially when it comes to Jordans people want the original boxes so they didn't sell on eBay either so now I've, um, I've got these shoes these discounted ones that I thought were gonna be super profitable for me that I actually can't sell because of the box issue so luckily and this is something I knew and was part of this strategy from the very beginning from the second I brought bought the shoes and brought them home is that buying from Nike uh, you can return them at any time if they're new and unworn and unused. And if it's within 30 days and they're used, you can return them. So Nike, and I looked into this before I bought the shoes in the first place, Nike has a flexible return policy. So I knew up front if I bought these 15, well by this point I've bought more pairs of shoes. So like if I bought these two grand worth of Jordans and brought them home and couldn't sell them, well, very worst case scenario, I could just take them back and get a refund for my money. Now, maybe that's a little embarrassing having to take 15 pairs of shoes and return them back to the Nike factory, but worst case scenario, I knew that they had that return policy, so I was never going to actually lose $2,000 here. So up front, I just decided to dive straight in and see if I could learn how to sell sneakers online. You've seen I ran into several problems, but I was smart about it because I bought it from a place with the return policy, so even worst case scenario, I wouldn't just straight up lose my money. So with these pairs of shoes with no lids, I did that. I took them back to the store and just returned them because I learned that, well, I can't really sell these if the box doesn't have a lid. And so I had those remaining pairs listed on StockX and on eBay, 
and I was able to sell through those. The profit margins weren't insane, but I was able to do it profitably. I was like, I don't know, somewhere from 15 to $20 of profit a pair, which I mean, that's decent money. It didn't take crazy amounts of work. And ultimately what I wanted to do from the very beginning was just see if I could do it. I wanted to dive in, get my feet wet, learn the process. So now what happens is anytime I go look at a store or whatever, I can really easily look at a pair of shoes, do a couple quick searches on my phone, and now I know if it's worth it for me to grab that pair of shoes and flip it online. So I know this video wasn't like how to get rich flipping sneakers online, but it, I did show you, I have showed you how to flip sneakers profitably online, not at the biggest profit margins, but it's something you can do. And if you go find 20, 30, 100 pairs of these shoes and flip them at 15 to $20, then yeah, that is actually pretty good money. Not what I'm going to continue to pursue, but it's good to have that you know knowledge and skill in my back pocket for if I ever come up on a pair of kicks that I wanna flip. But most importantly, like I said at the beginning of this video, I just wanted to show you the process of just diving right in and going for it, not wasting time and learning through doing.